Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. It's already time to wrap up the show. I can't believe it. It's been a really fast two hours, and I think that's because I've been having so much fun. Yeah, we've had so many people on here talking about slam dance, filmmakers from Sundance. And the fun continues, A, with Clint, because he's closing out the show for us. But, B, you got to stay here. Stay on Park City Television, because coming up on In the Can, the documentary that I'm most excited about seeing, we're actually going to be talking about that today on Park City Television. It's my woman crush, RBG, the notorious yes, RBG, Ruth excellent. Bader Ginsburg, the Supreme Court Justice. She is my hero. i got to stay around and, and listen How to that interview. That? And you guys have to stay around as well. Watch In the Can with their fantastic coverage of Sundance as well. But right now we're going to leave you with Clint Alfin. Clint, where can people find your music? Uh, m most of my music is on clintalfin.com and you can stream and purchase songs and albums there. I'm also on iTunes and Spotify. So, But the website's the easiest place to go. Excellent. Well, take it away, Clint. Thank you so much. My grandfather was a businessman, built a grocery store with his brother, and he taught me the value of a dollar. Back before I was born, he won a boat, got second place selling ivory soap, so my daddy grew up on the water. He couldn't use a hammer or a wrench to save his life. But I've never seen a man do better about his children and his wife. He would wrap his arm around me in that old country church, sing those bass and baritone harmonies like I had never heard, baptized in the water. That was my grandfather. My grandmother made a house of home. She wrote a poem for every one of her children She knew her way around a kitchen but She worked every day in that business too And she kept it running like you're supposed to do She was a beauty All of four foot eleven She would write folks letters On the backs of old greeting cards she would read to me from a yellow book of stories that I've still got. She couldn't wait for me to bring her home, some little country girl, but I never did. The last thing I for the Lord, could never love another like my grandmother. She said.